In this video, I'm going to walk you through getting started with Altium Designer and bringing it up for the first time. To do that, you're going to need to sign up for your student license, download the latest version of Altium Designer, download an integrated library that we've prepared for you, and then run Altium Designer. In order to get your student license, the best place to find the links to do that is the website for our class, 5730. And the best way of finding that is just do a Google search under Bogotin and then ECEN, either 4730 or 5730, and that should bring up this landing page for our class. And if you scroll down, you'll see a section, Altium Designer Tools used in this class. Here's the link to register for your student license. Here's the link to download the latest version of the software. And here is the link to download an integrated library that we've prepared for you. So you want to go through those steps, install the latest version of the Altium Designer software, and now once it's installed, you're ready to open it up. When you open up Altium Designer for the first time, and usually almost every time, you're going to get this warning message appearing. Ignore this warning message. We're going to say OK. And now Altium Designer comes up. Oftentimes it'll open up on the home page. And this is a great resource to check out because there are lots of tutorials available. You can also grab other support and documentation. Browse this at your leisure. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is just make sure that our license is really set up. And so we come over here to the far upper right end of the screen. We pull down licenses and we check to see do we have one checked out. And sure enough, here's one checked out. If by some chance you don't have a license available, here's a simple way to get it. So I'm going to release this license. So now I don't have a license. It says you're not using a valid license. Here's how you grab one. If you've already registered for your student license and you've gotten the acknowledgement email back, then you're in the Altium database. We are literally on the Altium server right now. We come over here to the very top of the screen under the expiration date for the licenses. We want to sort it with the latest ones at the top. So we click it once. It brings up the earliest ones at the top. We click it a second time and ah, now we have the latest ones. And we just want to go down and find one that expires, you know, sometime in the future where it says zero of one assigned seats. I'm going to take the very first one here. I'm going to click it and now I'm going to say, okay, can I use it? And the answer is yes, I can. And now I'm in. And if you find that, gee, the first couple are occupied and there are no seats available, keep scrolling down and you will find an available license to use. All of them are available for students at University of Colorado. Now we're in. I've got a license assigned to me and I can use this license. You'll notice it's about four hours. And every four hours, I would come back and it should automatically renew. If it doesn't, now you know how to get it. Now we're ready to open up our project.